Today we are making Cupro, a synthetic silk. It is relatively easy to prepare and you only need a few chemicals, which are easy to get. A beaker containing 64 grams of sodium hydroxide is filled up to the 200 milliliters mark with distilled water. Stir with the glass rod until the sodium hydroxide is completely dissolved. Caution, the solution becomes very hot and is very corrosive. A fresh beaker is placed on a hot plate with a magnetic stirrer and 20 milliliters of distilled water is heated. Six point four grams of copper sulfate are weighed out. The copper sulfate is then dissolved in the warm distilled water. After the solution has cooled, 20 milliliters of 25% ammonia solution is added. 4.3 milliliters of the prepared sodium hydroxide solution is measured in a graduated cylinder and also added to the solution. Meanwhile, some cellulose is plucked. I use medical swabs that are made of 100% cellulose. The cellulose is then added to the solution. A thick slurry is formed, which is stirred with a glass rod until a homogeneous mass is obtained. The viscous solution is now filled into a 20 milliliters disposable syringe. The opening of the syringe is dipped into the prepared sodium hydroxide solution and a uniform pressure is applied to the syringe plunger. A long synthetic silk thread is created. The artificial silk thread remains in the sodium hydroxide solution for 15 minutes to cure completely. Meanwhile, 200 milliliters of distilled water is added to a fresh beaker. The cured artificial silk thread is placed in the distilled water for another 15 minutes.
In another fresh beaker, 200 milliliters of distilled water is added. Using a pipette and a graduated cylinder, 20 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid is measured out. After adding the concentrated sulfuric acid to the 200 milliliters of distilled water, the synthetic silk thread is put in. This is for decoppering and may take a while. Once the synthetic silk thread is completely decolorized, it is briefly washed again in distilled water. Finally, it is placed on a filter paper to dry. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.